Tropical Storm Sunamu still pushing off here towards the west, affecting southern Vietnam here today on the 5th of January 2013. At least for now, though, we are seeing a slight intensification of this tropical system, which is now uh, pushing off there around Ho Chi Minh City here into the southern portions of Vietnam. We're going to be seeing some heavy rain showers today. Currently, it is a severe tropical storm, but expect a significant weakening going into your Saturday evening hours. And the main reason is due to a high amount of vertical wind shear. You can see these shear lines being pulled off here towards the north along the northern periphery of the system. Due to that, we are seeing this burst of convection. It's allowing for an abundant amount of exhaust aloft. But too much of that, too quickly, it's kind of like blowing on those uh, a fire. If you blow on it a little bit, it's going to likely flare up a little bit more. Too much, blow it out like a candle. That's what we're going to be seeing here today on our Saturday going into Sunday with this tropical system. But nonetheless, still the risk of uh, flooding across uh, southern portions of Vietnam here. And this is all following into the wake of what we've seen across the Philippines, which was some very heavy rainfall, over 150 millimeters reported in some areas in one location uh, throughout the day on your Thursday going into Friday. Now the risk is out here. And as you can see, the bulk of that convection on that satellite imagery was actually over towards the north, the center of circulation down here towards the south. That is due to that vertical wind shear once again, and that's just going to continue to kill it off as it pulls down here towards the southwest, eventually going to be bringing some rain showers across Malaysia, but uh, as what we're seeing right now, it looks like that it's going to weaken out into a tropical depression. It shouldn't be anything more than what you see on a typical sea breeze days across this portion here, and I don't really expect much of it to linger all the way over there into Kuala Lumpur. And just taking a look at the GFS model key your uh, eyes here into the bottom of the imagery across the Philippines and over towards the South China Sea. We have that flare up of convection shown right here. Now a severe tropical storm, winds about 50 knots. But then as we go here into Sunday, it just falls right off the map there, completely weakens out. And eventually, actually going into Monday, you know, see that it's kind of just falls right apart. Still, that area convection continues to pull off there towards the southwest. But by this time, we're looking into the mid part of next week. It's completely merged back in with the intertropical convergence zone. Otherwise, though, we are also watching an area just towards the east of the Philippines, which is possibly going to be flaring up here into the coming days. You very well could be seeing a low-pressure area push across Mindanao again. Risk here, same as with the last two systems, Wukong and Sunamu, uh, is the risk of people still homeless after Typhoon Bofa, uh, also mass deforestation. So as you can see here on Sunday going into Monday, we have that big bulk convection, a light low pressure area developing here on the GFS. That same area actually impacting Palau now, and that is going to be of risk of pushing off here towards the west bringing some heavy rainfall. About 50 millimeters an hour possibly could occur and about 100 millimeters overall, most of that precipitation uh, I do expect is going to be in short time heavy rain. So we're going to be wanting to watch that one as well and going into our Sunday in the Monday. But for now though, uh, Sun and Moon continuing the week and now this one looks like it's going to be remaining rather weak and thankfully because it is, well, it's the early part of January. And really, it's actually Australia's time for cyclones, but uh, unfortunately, we've actually been seeing more storms in the northern hemisphere than they have been seeing in the southern hemisphere through the cyclone season months. Uh, so we pull back the picture, though. We can see how disorganized our uh, Sunamu is, pulling off there towards the west, that weak area of convection. But meanwhile, farther towards the north, let's talk about China, where in northeastern China, the Harbin Festival going on. Please go check that out, our latest update on the uh, westernpacificweather.com website. Just quick information on that. They have a 43 meter high tower there. It's pretty awesome. Uh, meanwhile, also seeing some sea effect snow pull across from the northwest towards the southeast on northern Hokkaido and uh, northwestern Honshu. You'll be seeing about 30 to 50 uh, centimeters in the next 24 hours there due to that. But really, it has lightened up from that heavy sea effect snow we were seeing on uh, Wednesday. But as this area right here starts to pull off here towards the east, and that area actually could bring some light snow across to Tokyo going into the overnight hours on Saturday and the Sunday. So tonight going into Sunday, 
Uh, after it passes by, that CFX snow machine is going to kick right back up. And this is actually the forecast map for Sunday evening. You can see that low pressure area there off towards the east. And whenever you see them come in from the south, that's what means possible risk of precipitation across Tokyo, which is usually sheltered. Uh, by the mountainous terrain across the region, uh, especially around the Kanto area. But uh, this time, maybe even a flurry of snow or two since temperatures are lingering right around the freezing point. After they pass by, CFX snow machine though, coming right back on. So if you are heading out to the Support Ice Festival in February, well, uh, you're going to have plenty of snow to deal with there. But I'll leave you guys now with um, the forecast lows here for uh, January 5th. Uh, this brought to you by weather4u.com. Freezing temperatures in Tokyo. Uh, so you're getting below minus 1. Actually, I saw the lows uh, in Ulaanbaatar and Mongolia at minus 32 there. All the way up towards Siberia. So exceptionally cold for you. It just drops right off once you get to the north. north. But uh, we still have tropical weather in place towards the south. And thus our tropical storm sun and moon. Which we will continue to update you on throughout the weekend and going in the early part of next week as it dissipates out and also plus that area towards the east of the Philippines. Reminder, you can follow me on Facebook and Twitter at Robert Spetta or you can follow us at westernpacificweather.com and also we'll be back on air at NHK World on Monday. So uh, stay tuned for that and thanks for watching.